What's up? It's Andy. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to close any customer over the phone. Look, I'm going to tell you this, man. We're in the era of the worst salesperson in the history of time on the damn telephone. Any sales industry you're in, this is going to teach you how to crush everybody and be the best. Watch this full video. Okay, guys, here we go. So we're going to talk about how to close over the phone. Let me explain this to you real quick. Man, if you're smart, you'll have a pen and a piece of paper on you right now. If you don't have one, do me a favor, all right? You see this phone number? I'm going to put something simple. I'm going to go old school on you. You see this right here? I've created a full PDF over my entire training material over this whole video. You shoot me a text, 918-210-0254. I'll send it over to you, okay? That way you can study it, watch it. If you don't have something to write with, here we go. This is gonna be how to close over the phone. Listen guys, being deadly over the phone, men, women all around the country, don't care what you do. I, I specifically am teaching the automotive space right now, 80%, 20% other sales. I don't care who you are, where you're at. I'm gonna say one thing. If you look like your competition, if you sound like your competition, everybody's gonna treat you like your competition. Look, make 100 phone calls today. Make 100 and call your competition. Call them. Do me a favor. If you work for ABC Toyota, right? I'm just gonna give you an example, okay? And your competition is gonna be D Toyota. Do me a favor. Call the Toyota today and say, hey man, I was calling to see if a vehicle still available. Just ask that question. I'm gonna tell you, number one, they're not even gonna ask you your name. Swear on my life, nobody's gonna ask your name. You know why? Because they don't care. So step one, you wanna learn how to be deadly on the phone? Care, out care. So number one, write this down. You gotta truly care because I'm gonna tell you this right now. Nobody gives a shit anymore. Dude, we're in the era of the worst salesman in the history of time. Nobody cares. Hey, hope you're having a wonderful day. It's Andy, how you doing? How can I help you today? Now listen, understand this. Can you see me on the phone? No, but you can hear me. You can tell if I'm passionate about my job. You can tell if I love what I do. You can hear if I am glad I showed up to work today and if I believe in my company. Can you hear that on the phone? Yeah, okay. Do you sound that way? Or are you like a coughing dead? Just answer the telephone. ABC Toyota, hey man, I was calling to see if you got XYZ car still in stock. Uh, yeah, which, uh, what, we got stock number? Boom. They go right around it. Look man, people don't care about how much you know till they know how much you care. All y'all car dogs out there, anybody that hadn't been trained, guess what? You better check yourself from the neck up. Guess what happens? Somebody I trained is gonna clean your clock. You wanna, you wanna be the best right now? Pay close attention. You better start caring. Okay, nine out of 10 people that call you, nine out of 10. If you sell cars, they've already bought a car from someone else. You think they know what the average guy sounds like? Yeah, don't be the average. Everybody wants to deal with the 1% best in every industry. Make that you. You gotta be the trusted advisor, the trusted guy. So you wanna know how to close? Number one, people are judging you from the second they pick up the phone. Look, it took some courage for the customer to make the call. Would everybody agree right now it took a little courage from, for the customer to make the call? Yeah? Okay, cool, so they had the courage, they made the call, now that they made it, guess what? They go to a receptionist, now they're having to tell her what they want or him what they want, they transferred them to you, and now you answer, and guess what? Are you sound like this? Hey, hope you're having a wonderful day, it's Andy. How can I help you today? By the way, who am I speaking with? Oh my God, I love that name, it's my favorite name. That's actually my father's name, that's my mother's name. Man, that is so awesome. Well listen, how can I serve you today? What is it I can help you with? Does that sound pleasant? Or, uh, yeah, what are you calling on? You got a stock number? Listen, call. Call your competition. Call D Toyota today. You know what I'm talking about. Pick up the phone, put any dealership in, go ahead and call every one of them. When you call them, you're gonna be disgusted. You're gonna be sick to your stomach. With that being said, we talked about the caring, the entry level. Okay, the next section. Once they know you care, right? And you sound like you care, you picked it up, flags are flying, people are, are buying, you're standing up, having the best day of your life. Whenever you say, hey, hope you have a wonderful day, this is Andy, how can I help you? By the way, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? What's your name? You better get their name. <laughs> you pass this little silly thing. Most people know what to do, but don't do what they know. Ask their name. Why? 
because you want to repeat their name back to them. Listen to me. If you say, okay, so what time can you make it in? Or you say, hey, Andy, so look, I just checked it out. I have a little bit of some more white space on my schedule here where I can squeeze you in. We can make this fast. What time can you make it in today, Andy? Look, when you say my name, my ears perk up because it makes me feel like we got a connection and a relationship already. Do you want to feel like you and your customer are connected? Well, I sure hope so. If you're a top achiever, you know that's the name of the game. Now, when I say this to you, right, what's the strongest thing you could have on a phone call? Trust and rapport. How can you build trust and rapport in a fast amount of time? Well, it's real easy. Number one, give a crap. Tear right out the gate. Number two, get their damn name. We ain't even found out what they need yet. And already, I'm making a stronger phone call getting ready to close than 99% of the world out there. Now it's time for you to level up. You ready to read for day? Guess what? Here we go. So, hey, how you doing? You got a great attitude. Secondly, what's your name? Now, here's an important part. The gap. The gap. G-A-P. Gap. What the heck is a gap? Well, the gap is what you give yourself between the introduction and then giving them the information on what they want so you can build rapport. What are the two strongest things I said you could have on a phone call? Trust and rapport. Where are you gonna build your rapport if you're just giving out information? Let me explain to you most calls. Uh, yeah, this is Andy, how can I help you? Yeah, I was calling about uh, this vehicle, do you still have it in stock? Yeah, you got the stock number. Most phone calls. Uh, yeah, ABC stock number. Okay, cool. Uh, let me check real quick, hold on. What'd you say the stock number was again? Still on SMA, still don't care. Uh, yeah, I still got it. Um, do you need to know something about it or what time can you make it in? Swear on my life. It's the whole world out there. Man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, when I was a general manager, that stuff would not have happened on my floor. No ways, okay? The people that are training are crushing it right now. Companies that aren't training, you're gonna get slaughtered, okay? But customers, they just wanna buy from the best. Okay? Your, your sales team better be the best. If you're a sales pro and you're watching this right now, level up. I'm giving you the answer. Here's the test. Here's the answer to the test. I'm giving you the answers to the test and you can win. I love you guys. You know I want to see you win, all right? When I speak to you, I speak to you with passion because I give a shit. Okay? I want to see you be the best in the world. By the way, no one knows how to teach and train like me. If you resonate with the way that I teach, guys, give a comment below. Can you give your boy a comment, right? Say, hey, Andy, I appreciate it. At this time right now, I didn't ask you to pay for this training. You know, I asked you to do? Throw your boy a comment. And another thing, send me a like. That'd be cool. Also, share it with the buddy. Can you send it out there to maybe another guy that sells with you? Maybe someone in the sales industry that works on the phone that can use us? Hell, everybody talks on the phone. Share it with somebody, okay? Help me work the YouTube out algorithm. Let's kill it together. I do this for you for free. Let's kick butt. Hey okay, guys, so I did a little quick reset so I can make this a little easier for you to see. Remember, I'm talking about the gap, right? Now look, let's just recap here. Number one, this is the open of the cell. Hey, as soon as they say hi, guess what you're doing? You're showing how much you care, you're giving them energy, you're showing them that you're passionate about your job and you love what you do, so they know you're dealing with the right person. Remember, people buy two ways. One logically and second with their gut, okay? They know they're dealing with the right person. Now, you're gonna ask their name, why? Because you're gonna use it how many times? Dude, five to 10 times during the conversation, you're going to repeat their name to them. So they know that you have a direct relationship with them and you're different. You think the person at the last dealership did it? I don't think so. Be different. You want to get different results? Do different things. You want to get the results as everybody else in the world? Just do what everyone else does. You want to be different? This is how to do it. You want to be the best? Here we go. Now, once you get their name, they're going to tell you what they need. So, tell me what you called in about today. How can I help you? How can I serve you at the highest level, right? I'm here to give you world-class customer service. What do you need? Tell me what you need. They tell you what they need. When they give it to you, you're going to say, hey, guys, look, I'm just rebooting my computer. It's going to take me about 30 seconds real quick. While that's happening, where are you calling from today? Best question in the world. Where are you calling from today? Okay, beautiful. Now, look, on the vehicle that you told me that you're interested in, right? Have you driven a couple of them? Is this going to be maybe the first one you looked at? How long have you been in the market? Guys, ask some intelligent questions. You want to learn how to close? Ask questions. Closers ask questions. Ask great questions, get great answers. Ask some questions, guys. This is easy. This is taking candy from a baby. 
You want to know how I made almost a million selling cars? It's just right here. It's just right here. It's just too easy. Okay? You want to be the best? You want to be different than everybody else? It's all right here. The gap. Hey, guys, it's going to take me about 30 seconds to reboot my computer. Now, listen, that rapport building time, what do people love to do? They love to talk about themselves. Guess what I'm doing? In that gap, I say the term 30 seconds, they may talk about themselves for five minutes. I need them to talk. I need to gather information because here in a minute, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give them the information back that they need. And when I have the trusted rapport and they feel like they have a commitment with me and a, 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 I would say a personal connection with me that they haven't had with anybody else, I'm going to be able to set my appointment. Guys, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to walk through this quick. Karen Energy, what is your name? Get their name. Repeat it five to ten times. Treat them like they're your best friend, okay? Think about the person in your world that you love the most right now. That's who you're talking to from now on every time you pick up the phone. It's that person on the phone. You're talking the way that you talk to your best friend every time. You don't have to be over the top professional, okay? Listen, I'm looking for you to build a best friend, okay? But build it fast. Find out what they need. Once you find out what they need, say, oh, wonderful, I'd love to get that for you. Look, I'm rebooting my computer. It's going to take me about 30 seconds. By the way, where are you calling from today? Bam! Okay? Oh, my God. That's awesome. Okay, cool. And you said you were looking at Ford Fusions. Hey, let me ask you. Have you drove any Ford Fusions yet? Or this is going to be the first one you have? Oh, Andy, we've had 10 Ford Fusions. Oh, my gosh. Then you know what? This is going to be your 10th one. You've driven tons of them. No. Andy, we saw one on the road, so we decided to look one up. Listen, guys, <laughs> ask great questions. Get great answers. Okay? Now, I'm going to give the information. Okay, beautiful. Well, number one, Sarah, it was amazing meeting you. One to 10, like, oh my gosh, you're like a 10. You're one of the nicest customers I've ever met in my life. I can't wait to personally meet you when you get here. Great news, have you ever won the lottery? Sarah, you just have. I actually still have the 2017 Ford Fusion still in stock. Look, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something special for you because you're a special person, Sarah. I'm gonna go grab the keys, I'm gonna put them on my desk, I'm gonna pull the car to the side, what time can you make it here? Not only am I going to give you world-class customer service, but I'd like to ask you a question. What's your favorite drink? If you were to go to Starbucks right now, what would you order? What would it be? Skinny hazelnut latte? What would it be? What do you like? Green tea? What would you drink? If you went to Starbucks, what would it be? Because when you get here, not only will I have your car pulled up the side, I'm also going to have a Starbucks waiting for you. You know what? Some of you are like, Andy, you buy your customer stuff? Are you kidding me? I'll go buy, I'll go buy a $5 drink. Are you kidding me? Do you know what would happen if Sarah pulled up and I had her walk out and said, Sarah, how are you doing? Welcome to the store. Just as I promised, your hazelnut skinny latte. Right here, baby. World-class customer service. So after I give her a coffee, you know what she does? She's like, oh my gosh, reciprocity. This person's amazing. And he said something amazing for me. Now I'm going to do something amazing for him, which is what? Purchase my vehicle and be really kind to me the entire time you're with me. Guess what? Over the phone, I built a best friend. Right here, I got reciprocity. I handed him something. If she sets an appointment with me at 3 p.m. and she doesn't show, you know what I got? I got a picture of me holding her coffee, saying, Sarah, I just got your heads on that skinny latte. I'm standing out front in front of your Ford Fusion. I've got it in my hand. Where are you? Let me ask you a question. How many of those people will show? Now, we're going to have some comedians comment below. They're going to be like, Andy, Andy, Andy. Listen, I'm going to tell you this. Guys, the proof is in the pudding. We got the jokers out there, right? And they're saying, don't do this. Let me ask you a question, okay? My mentors in life are people that have gone where I want to go. The proof is in the pudding. Let me explain this to you. I made 716 grand my last year selling cars. This isn't about me. This is about you. I'm going to give you the best tip you ever had in your life. My mentors in life are people that have gone where I want to go, okay? As I study other people right now, what I understand is people that are extremely successful went over and beyond for their clients and their customers. They did, they went over and beyond. Do I go over and beyond for you right now making this training video? Not charging you a dollar, not asking you to give me anything. I'm just trying to help you make more money and serve your family. I want you to be the best salesperson in the world. When you, when you see these successful people, they did things that other people were willing to do. I'm not telling you every time to go buy somebody Starbucks. Please don't understand that, okay? That way. I'm telling you this. When I set the appointment, right? 
if I have a relationship with somebody and whenever I have the gap, I built that relationship back again when I set the appointment, I could end it with something like this. Hey, by the way, sir, look, I'm going to ask you a question, right? Obviously, I'm going to see you around this afternoon, what, five or six o'clock, you tell me. When you get here, though, do you want something hot or cold to drink? Because I'm going to be the person outside. I'm personally going to shake your hand when you get there. And if you want a hot coffee, do you like it black? Do you like it with cream and sugar? Do you like it with creamer? How do you like it? Tell me how you like it, because I'm going to have a hot, fresh cup of coffee ready for you the second you pull up, or a cold bottle of water. Tell me what you want. I'm going to be out front. What would you like to drink when you get here? It could be something like that. Why? Because I'm going the extra mile. When's the last time somebody went the extra mile for you? It's been a while, huh? Wouldn't it be nice if you did that for someone else and then you watched their eyes light up? When I'm talking to somebody on the phone and I go for my appointment, okay, they're like, oh my God, man, are you kidding me? You don't have to go get me a cup of coffee. I'm like, no, 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 no. I want to. Listen, I know you don't need it. You don't need anything. You don't need me to go get anything for you, but I would like to do it for you. I would like to. I haven't met you yet, but just getting to know you right now for a couple of minutes on the phone, you're one of the nicest people I've met or ever met on the phone. I feel inside something telling me to do something nice for you. Listen, I have a family, I have a wife, and I have three children, okay? And sometimes it's rare, but people do nice and kind things for us, and it feels great. So since you've been so pleasant with me on the phone, I would just like to return the favor to you. Tell me what you want to drink, and I'll have it for you when you're here. And by the way, uh, if it's a guy, right? I'll say, sir, uh, you're, are you married? Can you bring your wife with you? What do you think that she would like to drink too? I'm gonna have something for her. And maybe have some crowns and color books for the kids too, if they're gonna be coming as well. This guy's like, true professional. Wow. You know, I called other dealerships, and I got this. Can you get the stock number on which car you're looking for? Okay, I got it. What time can you make it? No name, no passion, no energy, no trust, no rapport, no saying my name. You don't even know my name. Okay? Guys, it's never been easier to be great than it is right now. I want you to do me a favor. If you like the outline of this entire video, shoot me a text at this time, 918. Just shoot me a text right now. 210-0254. I will send you the full outline of this video so you can train, practice over it, get some of the work tracks I use, skill up, and go to the next level. Just want to tell you I appreciate it. Hey guys, crush your competition that's asleep at the wheel. They're asleep, right? They're going night at night. Night Let's slaughter them. Put them to bed. Remember, your customers, they need you to come through right now, be the best in the world. I just told you how to do it. You want to close anybody on the phone? Here's the blueprint straight from me for, to you. I want you to go destroy the world. Comment below, share this with a friend. Hit a like button. And by the way, go share this with your whole sales team. Give them a secret sauce so they can go kill it. You guys crush it as a whole dealership. Love you guys. See you in the next video.